I don't know what I'm getting myself into right now. Today I'm playing a game called Mr. Jorkman in Trouble. And with a name like that, I don't know what to expect. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adrian and let's get into the game. Mr. Jorkman was a famous gastroenterologist. He is well known for the cure of his, for people, <laughs> for people who got disease with the guts. Oh. He has healed more than 500 people. Some of his patients say that he has a magical cure. But now all his fame ended because he has failed on a patient. And this resulted in the patient's suicide. Before the suicide, the patient argued that Mr. Jorkman tried a new and untested cure. After these events, Mr. Jorkman could not continue his job. He is now living in an old apartment alone. I, as a journalist. Journal. Journalish. I, as a journalist, wish to take an interview about this with Mr. Jorkman. And I wonder what happened to the patient's guts. I'm actually afraid to go there because people say that the patient's ghost haunts Mr. Jorkman. But I will take a risk because it will worth it. You heard the, I mean, I heard the man because it will worth it. Let's take the risk. Is there literally? Okay, there's a little bit of audio. I can hear my feet moving. So, okay. An elevator leading into this guy's home. That's nice. Oh no. Oh, it's an apartment complex. What? Let me in. Jorkman. Let me in. Hey. I can't ring it anymore. The hell, dude? What do I do? I'm trying to get in. Let me in. All right. Well, you know something? There's got to be a key line around here somewhere. Oh. Hello? <laughs> that door opened very rapidly. Very, very rapidly. What? Is that a paper cutter? It's kind of what it looks like it is. Kind of looks like a paper cutter. Okay. The bathroom. A little bit bland. But you know what? I'm not here for interior decorating or anything of the sort. I'm here to find Joel. I'm here to find Jorkman. That was probably him over there, but I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to rummage through the rest of this man's things. This man doesn't have many things. What's in this room? Another bedroom. Interesting. A computer. Well, time to go uh, meet my fate. Speak to the horrible demon man that I saw over here. Hey, buddy. Stop. What are you holding? A giant can of ravioli? He's asleep. Jorkman? Uh. He doesn't seem like he can wake up. I'd better come tomorrow. This is an extremely odd scene right here. And I don't understand the shadow and where it could be coming from. But here we are. Wait. What is this? Thought the radio might wake him up, but I guess I was wrong. All right, guys. Well, it was fun knowing you, but I got to get out of here. You guys are really messing with my head, and I don't think I can take it anymore. So I'm gone. See you later. Going to leave all the doors wide open to his house. See what happens to him. The phone. I wonder who's calling him. I will answer his phone, not mine, his. the rumblies why did i hear a splish splish flash i could have sworn i heard some splashing going on in here what is happening what happened i'm not comfortable with this dude i am not comfortable okay oh you're still asleep what am i looking at what am i looking at what is with your head
that was a game. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.